if you're tired of doing push-ups, dips and want to try something new, giving your upper body an extra pump, there is a typical gymnast exercise which can give you a crazy pump. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do it. So, the pump swing is a typical gymnast pushing exercise that you can do on any parallel bars, so don't worry, the one in the park will be just fine. The pump swing works your chest, shoulders and triceps greatly. However, your raw strength won't be enough here, you need to be coordinated and feel the rhythm right, this is why this exercise is a good challenge and fun at the same time. The point of the pump swing is to go from the straight arm support through the lower end point of the dip to straight arm support again with a body swing. You can do that forward, backward and both forward and backward connected. This will give you a great pump. We'll look into the progressions and the right technique, but let's see what are the prerequisites of this great exercise since it's not a beginner one for sure. I suggest to do a complete upper body joint preparation. This is an exercise in support, so you should prepare your wrists, elbows, scapulas and shoulders, same as in other exercises I showed you before. Core strength is also key here because you will control the swing with your core, so to have a basic strength is highly recommended. You can find dedicated videos about the joints and body parts I've mentioned on the channel or the complete joint preparation program on the link below. Besides the joint preparation and prehab, the other key prerequisite is basic strength. You need to be strong in at least the push-ups and dips. You can also find full tutorials about these on the channel. Your support on the P-bars also needs to be rock solid. You should be able to do walks and even jumps in the support with confidence. Optional prerequisites are the handstand and some basic handstand push-up progressions if you want to learn this exercise in the biggest possible range of motion. If you have the basic prerequisites, so joint preparation or prehab, plus basic strength, then you can start the progressions. Let's get into those right now. The first step is a stable basic parallel bar swing. I could make a whole video about this exercise, but I know that it's not that attractive for most people, so let's go through only the basics. In a perfect P-bar swing, the trunk and legs swing in a big range up to the handstand. For the basic pump swing, you don't need to do this. Actually, you can do pump swings with minimal swing. The parallel bar swing is not easy in itself, but with the support swing on the parallels, you can have a clue how it is, which is a great preparatory exercise. In this exercise, you need to swing from push-up position through a tuck position to the rear push-up position and back. Keep your elbows lugged and push down the parallels from your shoulders all the time. Keep your body straight in the push-up positions and hold the end points for 1-2 to two seconds. Do dynamic swings with tucking your knees. This exercise will prepare your shoulders for the swing. It's not gonna be the exact same movement, but similar. By the way, this is a great conditioning exercise in itself. If you can do 15 reps, you can move on to the P-bar swing. On the P-bars, in the beginning, do very little swings and keep your feet below the bars. Keep your elbows lugged and push down the P-bars from your shoulders all the time. While doing the swing, your upper body will also move forward and backward the opposite way as your legs move. As you will swing in a bigger range of motion, the more weight will pull you down, so you need to be strong and your shoulders will bounce back. This is why the scapula preparation is important. You can get tired even after 5, 10 swings, you will feel your shoulders and arms since this dynamic movement requires more coordination and you need to hold all that with your arms and shoulders. If you get tired, take a break and always finish the swing when you are swinging backward. With the P-bar swing, I always recommend the following milestones. First, when your legs are below the bars. Second, when your legs are above the bars. Third, when your body reaches the horizontal. Fourth, when you're almost in the handstand and fifth, when you do it in the full range of motion, so you go up to handstand. As I said, you can do pump swings even with the first step, the point is to be stable in that. If you can do any of these swings 15 times, then you're ready to move on. The second progression is the bent arm swing. If we simplify the pump swing, you can see that the body swings with alternating between straight arm and bent arm positions. So basically, you need to be able to swing with straight arms and bent arms. You already got the strength for the in-between dips because of the regular dips and your scapulas are stable because of the prehab exercises. This progression is important to prepare the shoulders and feel the rhythm. You need to start doing the swing with your legs in the bent arm position. Be careful and do it only in a small range of motion in the beginning, then try to swing more and more. 
you will feel the movement and its rhythm. You should definitely try this progression before doing any of the pump swings because this is where you will feel whether you are capable of the movement or not. If you got it and you can do 8 to 10 reps, then you can move on. If you feel it's too difficult, you should pay more attention to shoulder mobilization, scapular depressions, dips and straight arm swings. Later on, you can use this exercise as a special warm-up before the pump swings. The third progression is the pump swing forward. The reason to start doing it forward is because it's less risky, you'll move in a range that you already know well because of the push-ups and dips. Here, you need to start the exercise in the straight arm support and swing. When you reach the end point of your backward swing and your body stops for a moment, that's the point when you need to start the dip with control. Pay attention to the key points of the regular dip and let your legs swing forward. Don't bend your arms suddenly. The rhythm is important. It should be a gradual negative dip in harmony with the legs while they are descending. You should push up yourself when your body reaches the vertical position and your center of mass moves forward and up. If the P-bars are not high enough, you can bend your knees. When you arrive to the straight arm position, continue the swing, let your body swing backward and you can do more reps. If you got this exercise, you can do some reps which will already give you a great pump. The 10 to 15 rep range is a good goal, but if you can do 5 reps, you can move to the next progression. The fourth progression is the pump swing backward. As I mentioned, this progression is harder and more dangerous than the previous one. When you bend your arms while swinging, your center of mass descends, which generates more momentum, which you need to be able to control. This is definitely harder doing it backward. A good preparation exercise for this range, if you do some dips with your legs on the P-bars, this is similar to the dips on a box. You can also let your legs swing from the bar, so you can prepare the movement. When you reach the end point of your forward swing and your body stops for a moment, that's the point when you need to start the dip with control. Pay attention to the key points of the regular dip and let your legs swing backward. Don't bend your arms suddenly, the rhythm is important, it should be a gradual negative dip in harmony with the legs while they are descending. But at the same time, I know it's gonna be fast, just do it with control and don't fall. You should push up yourself when your body reaches the vertical position and your center of mass moves backward and up. If the P-bars are not high enough, you can bend your knees. When you arrive to the straight arm position, continue the swing, let your body swing forward and you can do more reps. While doing the palm swing backward, you can go up to handstand if you kick your heels and generate enough momentum. This is basically a handstand push-up with some momentum, but don't think it's easy. It's not easy to control the momentum, push all the way up and hold the handstand at the end. But if you're gradual, you can achieve it, it will take a couple of tries for sure. In the beginning, many times you won't even reach the handstand position, but if you overdo it, you can just bail out as from the handstand. The 10 to 15 rep range is also a good goal, but if you can do 5 reps, you can move to the next progression. The final progression is the pump swing itself when you do it forward and backward as well. This exercise requires great coordination and strength, especially if you go all the way up to handstand. We can say that it works your pushing strength in 3D because your body goes through a dip, a push-up and a handstand push-up, but of course it's a unique movement. This is a real favorite exercise of gymnasts. Start small and increase the range of motion gradually. Pay attention to the scapular stability and parallel arms during the dips. You need to maintain the momentum all the time because if you don't, it can cause an injury. Do the dips with the same rhythm as you did before, you just need to be focused and do them continuously. In case of lower P-bars, the full range of motion is more difficult, but for the normal execution, just bend your knees. With the regular execution, the 10 to 15 reps is a good goal in total, but if you do the full range, even 2 to 5 reps are great. So this will be a typical gymnast pushing exercise that will definitely give your body a new stimulus. If you like it, give it a try, I bet you won't regret it, just be careful with it. Don't forget, if you want to build up a shredded physique like gymnasts have from zero, just click the link below, sign up today and get access to all of my programs, tutorials, series and much more. I can also help you personally in the private community in the live Q&As. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did so, please like, share and write a comment what do you want to see in the next videos. If you don't want to miss the new videos, subscribe with notifications on and see you next week in the next video.